terribly. I was saying that we ended with, um, wasn't it? Dodged a bullet. Dot dot dot. Um, and obviously, I'm staring. At talk, waiting for an explanation. I want to stand in front of him and and tell him answers first. I'm pretty sure we just saved your life. Batman? Why? No, don't describe him. If he got the box, why is it important to you for him not to get it? And who, oh, sorry, what's going. in the box? And who would be paying the most for this? I think I just look at Emu. <laughs> like, really, dude? That kind of look without <laughs> saying anything. And now that there is another play in the game, we will need certain uh, physic, uh, fiscal assurances that if there's going to be more danger to us in the possible delivery as well, I think that should also be added on top. Oh, you're still looking, still looking at you, Moo. You could have informed us that there was other uh, parties interested. You have lost that opportunity now that we know. And quite frankly, it is somewhat insulting that you did not choose to uh, inform us of more uh, what was going on. I probably just look over and go, wait, you guys have the box? Name your employer. I think I just walk up. I follow. Like a bodyguard. Thank you. And, So I was saying OVEC so far, and obviously... Also, I'm heading towards the blacksmith's direction, that kind of area of town, which is the opposite way from the chapel. Is everything um, else up to? I was just going to... Um, I'll turn and sort of start to go the, uh, their way and just say to him, I'm sure you will be able to provide us certain assurances 
and there is no need that any of this could go an unpleasant way for any of us. And I then keep following after the rest of them. Still warming up those bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> Just cursing under my breath about the bagpipes. <laughs> um... <laughs> I suppose I'm just, um, I reluctantly follow him um, till the, well, obviously would have preferred to have moved things forward. Oh, well, like I was saying, if you've got something that your character would do instead, do that. That is called forward. Mm, don't think so at this time. Oh no, I've, I'm 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 just heading to the blacksmiths. I don't really mind what MD else does. Um, I think obviously if Ovex caught up with me, I'm not going to like walk away from the walk with him. Mm -hmm. But I'm definitely just heading to the blacksmith. My original plan before chapel distractions. So. I mean, is it like a pothole or a crater? Like, what are we talking here? Because do we have minus rep in the city now? <laughs> I mean, maybe about even, right? <laughs> So, like, is it like, like what you've described? Walking into a hole. So, give me more details. Like, I don't, I don't see. I. Yeah, but is like his hammer smacked the ground, and there's a big dent in the hammer shape, or is it actually like a massive crater? Like, I was just like, holy fuck, this guy's really strong. We should have let him fight him. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just split in half. Mm -hmm. Just so like a, a few cross crater. I don't know if I would necessarily notice it then, because if there's people like, attending to it, it's not, I don't want to get in people's way, I just want to get to the blacksmith. Um, so I think I would navigate around Why more. We... What, sorry? Why are we going to blacksmith? I mean, you could ask me, it's Ovik if you want. Why are we heading back to the blacksmith? Well, I think maybe at this point, this is when I kind of acknowledge that you've been walking with me, if that makes sense. Like, I finally, like, respond on to even though I was aware that you were there. I, I turned to you and say, we were going to get you a shield if I remember right. And I just smile like you kind of gently and kind of like do that thing where like cup your elbow very like briefly and then let go and carry on walking. Man said it would take a few days. I, I'll, 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 like sorry, I'll take a couple of steps and then just like turn on the spot and look at it. Excellent. And just smile. And then I just say, then my, I have no business with the blacksmith. 
I just kind of nod of it. Is uh, my character able to smell out the wood of the box to see who has it? Toga have it. I don't think my character knows who has it. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I showed you the box and the knife and the tomb. And said, I thought you gave it to Emu, though. <laughs> then I thought uh, no, I think Emu said keep it safe. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I've still got it. Unless yeah. Alexander questions this. <laughs> no, no, you've definitely still got it. Where are okay, we hiding cool. this box? How dare you ask such lady-like questions? Um, not try pickpocket. I want to force us to pick a side. So I, th I don't think my character understands the gravity of the situation, but I think it feels like um, a lot of pressure to um, help Gaia. And obviously I had that thing with um, talk, but like I wasn't fully aware of it. So I'm sort of feeling a lot of um, need to get on with things. So I'm trying to force the situation where I have the box and then I'm trying to get um, us to decide what we're going to do with it. So can I try and pinch it. <laughs> Can I roll perception? <laughs> it's going to end horribly. <laughs> Am I rolling perception against that or passive? Because I'm not actively trying to find something out. I'm just wondering if I notice it. So I guess it's passive. It's a tricky one because being stealthy, you need some level of obscurement. Think back to the Skaven in the tree. Hey. Okay. You can't be stealthy in the open. But then if you have obscurement, you can roll to hide. The action is to hide. Then is... you would do like sleight of hand. If that makes sense. From is there a like lots process. of people in the, in the town though, where we're walking? Like... Maybe when we're walking Compared past people. Hole. I suppose that's still sleight of hand. But there's lots of people. Is there lots of tabaxis? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so should I just roll sleight of hand? I'm not just going to let you walk up to me. And... Yeah. Oh, you're not suspecting I'm going to do that. You don't know what I'm suspecting. Mm. I don't know. You, you came from another world. You're not part of my original quest lineup. I'm definitely not going to give you the box willingly. Emu and Digdoglio are the people that were assigned to get the box. To get my motivation. Are you going to freak out just from me getting up close to you, like within arm's reach? No, but if I ever, like, if Tilda learns, not me, if Tilda learns you've taken the box from her mm. as theft, you're a complete write off as far as she's concerned because you've become an enemy to the group. For her like group of three, the reason she befriended you Novix because you're the the unknown elements of the group. Does that make sense? Like from her methodology, but I'm not saying don't try it if this is what you would do. 
here, her immediate friendliness is vanishing. Mm. But don't let an angry bald lady put you off doing what you would do. Well, I think it would be in my character. She's only got 8 HP, go for it. <laughs> so, <laughs> you have yeah, because we've, we've had this, this, this whole encounter, and then you've just walked off. I mean, we haven't, because the game's what we do, so... You know? It's, like, it's not like a video game where progress you need to do A. Progress is made by doing stuff, no matter what the stuff is. Do you know what I mean? Well, I guess I won't do it then. Um, I guess I I was walking slightly behind Gorm. Like, oh, cause Gorm left first, I think, and and I was just following on, just slightly behind them to try and catch up. Maybe I move my hand to do it, but then choose against it. Yeah, to describe what happened for us, like, remember we were walking side by side, then all of it like, breaks the silence, and, or broke the silence, and says, what are you going to the blacksmiths for? Or where are we going, or whatever. And I said, let's get you a shield, and I was like, oh, it'll take a couple of days. So like, I stopped a couple of steps in front, pivoted on the spot, and looked back at him, and was like, oh, in that case, yeah, I don't have anything to do here. I was just making sure that he got what I'd originally said I'd help him get. So I guess I'm looking back at every in our staggered line. I mean, famous people. Well, I certainly could use a drink. I don't think I don't think I had any interaction with Gregor. Didn't um didn't Gorm introduce himself to other people in the, the pub though as well? But didn't weren't you talking to Gregor um whilst I was playing? So like I, I imagined I was talking to random people that were interested in yeah. watching whilst Gregor was Oh no, no. Because you 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 met people and got information, and then as we were leaving, you were like, oh, hey, this is... Yeah. 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 I introduced Ovik specifically to the one person I'd already met, because I knew there was was a blacksmith. Even if Gregor was... Sorry, Grugar wasn't in the tavern, I knew that his partner, Gregor, was. Aye. So I think you maybe do know. I, just yeah, I could see. You. Yeah. Yeah.
Um, and I'd dab my paw in ink and then chuck it on with no real rhyme or reason. I think I'm going to just reply to Ovik, so I don't know if I noticed him smiling back. All right, my reply to obviously him going, I think I need a drink is, perhaps go and keep our friend company. Then I am, I kind of just like smile and nod. I think I'll go for a walk. Is he still friend? I would hate to think of him as an enemy. I just sort of look back at him and then start walking towards the tavern, see if he follows. My implications like talk, who I don't think is in sight, right? Or is talk still yeah. in sight in the distance? Yeah, cool. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess I'll just go towards the tavern. I'd like to try and catch up with Tilda. Should we race? <laughs> <laughs> What's your athletics? <laughs> it's probably not anywhere near as good as yours. <laughs> Unless fact that you're a monk, right? So yours might be as bad as me. <laughs> Minus one. Plus one. <laughs> Damn it. Um I had any interaction with um Ovik. So I might go with Ovik. Seeing it as an opportunity to Cool. Know him. Would I know here? Tabaxi's from my world? Okay, can I just say to him, so did your mother fuck a cat? <laughs> I hope somebody gets that reference. Emu, you're choking. Can I help? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get the reference, but... <laughs> um, I suppose I'd probably just ignore it and sniff the air and say... Nice brew I can smell. Hmm, you're buying. Um, I'd probably sniff the beer and then, if rather than say like nice brew, I'd probably think of uh, maybe a memory I have had of trying someone's home brew that ended up going badly. <laughs> Thinking, what the heck's that doing here? And uh, 
have some curiosity, something from my own world that might be. There's like an IRL dig at Callum, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite yet, because I haven't tried it. <laughs> Preemptive self defense, I see. <laughs> yeah. You heard it here first, first, folks. Like and Maybe. subscribe. I must be like C B. I, I didn't think his brew would be here. Huh. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if he's here too, and then uh, probably follow the scent. The brew would be called Share the Blame. <laughs> <laughs> We were going to have a... Shut up, Alex. We were talking about calling it uh, Blaine's Brews. Thanks. Blaine's Brews. <laughs> yeah, I think I just walk off, I think. I'm happy that Ovik wants to go keep an eye on talk. I'm not running though, obviously. Uh, I wouldn't say run, but you know, walking quickly and uh, passing through to to catch up. You mean playing hard to get now? <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want to draw me a complete detailed time map, I'll tell you exactly my route. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, uh, no, I think I just I want to go around the mind map I made with everybody and like solidify it in my head. I also don't drink, so I don't really want to go like listen to a guy's lies over booze. So, like, I want to just like I want to like think about everything I've just experienced. I'm trying to work out what I actually would like to do next, since I'm currently holding this horrendous piece of destiny. <laughs> the pick of destiny. Yeah, it might just start whittling it into something else. I say it's full of Eminem. <laughs> it's not important on that one bit. Did you say it was quite late? Okay. Ah. How long did we spend in the chapel? And is that like a like a deliberate time passed quicker when we were in the chapel thing? Was it early? Said it wasn't late in the day. I thought it was like after. Was it? So it's now dawn as well. Oh god, time is messed <laughs> up here. We broke it. Uh, yeah, I think if I noticed that, maybe that's like the first this is the reasons why she likes to go clear her head that way because she then went, wait, it's evening already. And maybe as I'm noticing that, maybe that's when Emu catches up with me. I probably stop to like look up and go, huh. I'm sorry to interrupt your solitude. I assure you, I know what it can do and how important it is for us. We have known each other for some time, Emu, and you are yet to interrupt me. I just smile back at you. 
there are decisions that we must make and contingencies that we perhaps should form. I, I will not lie, the, uh, the Monsieur T, uh, his, his offer to, to us is, does tempt me somewhat. I, I do not particularly trust Monsieur Ja, but uh, I, I feel this is a decision that perhaps we should make consciously and not just allow it to happen. I agree. I think we must carefully weigh the future we wish to lay out before falling into a pit we cannot climb back out of. I think she just maybe like rubs like her hand over her head and like it just like starts at her forehead and just kind of works its way to the back of her head. Is it oily? Like, <laughs> no. <I don't. laughs> um, elven. And then um, she then like like our hood comes down when she does that as well first times because she usually keeps her hood up and there's obviously a couple of, like weird curved scars on like the back of her head and she just kind of like almost runs her like fingers across them and she's kind of think trying not to fall asleep and uh, she says none of them are being particularly upfront with us they're both trying to mislead us for their own ends. I do not particularly wish to work for an unknown employer in either case. Things have complicated. I I agree. And while uh, it is possible that Monsieur, ja, uh, Monsieur T does not have the most, uh, shall we say, uh, malevolent desires, he is at least telling us who he is. Or, well, no, we at least know um, who he claims to be, and we know how to directly speak to him. We still have nothing from Monsieur Ja, and I am now worried that we may be unwitting servants in, in his own cause. Yes, and like she's still kind of playing with like the back of her head, and she's kind of like looking around, just absentmindedly, not really taking things in, just as if she's trying to like process as much as she can and then um, Callum from what you said before about the box there was no way to open it was so there is a keyhole okay um does the thing radiate magic or, or like static electricity or anything like that? Yeah, grenades, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just wondering, so this is for Alex out of character. I'm wondering if we should take it to the blacksmith to see if we can open it. Which is a terrible idea in character. But I'm seeing it out of character. <laughs> because I doubt they'll be able to get into it if I feel like it's a magical box. Because, but then. If you were to suggest that to me, I would probably say exactly the doubts that you were having. <laughs> Yeah, I figured that. It's maybe I'm just avoiding before that. Um, I don't know if she's Perhaps you one. just said it only to have your doubts proven true. Maybe, maybe I did. Maybe that <laughs> you know, talk myself out of it. Tell her I don't listen to that. Um, yeah, I think. See the dog. What have we seen running around the town? Does it belong to anyone that we can tell? Nobody seemed to like look after or take care of it. Was it like a stray? Yeah. The town dog, yeah. Is it like a big shaggy dog as well? 
like kind of mend your fur and whatnot. So I think maybe like that catches my eye, like there's the, the dogs wandering down a street or something in the distance. And then I was like, just my hand goes by my side. And then I clasp them behind my back and look at Emu and say, We could hide the box for now until we decide what we're doing with it. Oh, well. Perhaps. Though, <laughs> if, uh, if the Monsieur T is able to sense it, then we may, uh, we may end up unwittingly leading to it. He was standing 20, 30 feet in front of me, give or take my measuring tool. And uh, he did not know it was there. Unless, again, that was tin toying with us. This is true, but it is possible that he would uh, redouble his efforts if, um, if there is no progress made towards uh, his capture of this sentinel. I, I worry that if we are not there to see it, then it makes me found by completely unknown forces. He just stares off. Maybe she's like staring at the dog more than she intends to. Just as it's like sniffing around the street in the distance. Kind of like slowly, just absent mindedly nodding at Emu. What would you do if there was none of us here? What would your path be? If there was none of you here, I suspect those goblins may have killed me. I think I just like smile and maybe catch myself smiling and stop and I'll say Perfect way to avoid my question. And I just kinda of laugh. I am It's fine, I cast Fireball, she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I just look straight at Emu, and that kind of, I am not sure the next step I wish to make. Kind of, it's almost worry, you know, almost. I am. Um, the way is certainly unclear, but I am. I'm assured that it will present itself. All is as will be. Is that all is will be? All is as will be. Cool. I go wherever the smell is. In the trailer park, Tabaxi goes around the outside. Around the outside. Um, just I just clearly mutter about um, how I'd love to try that brew again. Just muttering about the memory of it and what it what it felt like, stuff like that. As I put my hand on the door handle, I sort of hear him muttering and sort of sigh and then follow him. My squeezing sideways. <laughs> yeah. Squeezing is a rule. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
And roll a <laughs> constitution save. <laughs> Your lungs are crushed. Feels building falls on you. <laughs> it's happened before. I suppose I, I notice Ovik by his the sound of his footsteps, sort of every few seconds going, yeah, and the he the heavy breathing as he keeps lumbering <laughs> side to side, um, and I I I look at the first at the the hold to the well, the stairs downstairs to the underground area thing, and then I look to Ovek, and I point and say, there's something I know down there, but I'm not sure why. Let's take a look. I think I, uh, with my eyes, quite clearly say, after you. Um, <laughs> how am I going to squeeze <laughs> past you? <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, look at the hole. And then coyly look at Ovik and his warhammer. I squeeze past with my ass like, like <laughs> facing him, so it squashes against him as I squeeze past. I wince. <laughs> you mean swoon, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I start walking down the stairs. Yeah, I know. Like Home Alone. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, the cam's letting the tram come out. <laughs> um, you clearly be watching way too many Disney films with your girlfriend, but. <laughs> Can I roll insight on all big ass? <laughs> <laughs> or is it lying? <laughs> <laughs> This is almost a Shakira song, by the way. <laughs> My hips don't lie. History check. <laughs> you call me old, you bitch. I remember these mountains. <laughs> How I Small long to humble. climb the three hills. <laughs> Gandalf, I want to see mountains again. <laughs> Do these doors open? Gently. Slight of hand, pinch of The only time I ever open it. I definitely oh. very curiously ask for um, fuck's sake what's going on. <laughs> is it is it is it is it, is it beer? Take a look. I take a look. What do I see? Is there any creatures in it? Mm -hmm. Can I draw my Jeez. Oh fuck! Yes, I, I will draw my hammer. <laughs> I will charge headlong in.
Um, I think I'm still half caught up in the memory, but obviously I'm a bit freaked out, so I jump. But I'm trying to jump back, but I accidentally jump the wrong way. Can I um, grab this creature by the throat? It's the exact same thing as before. It's grapple, yeah. Yep. So, so athletics strength. versus no athletics, athletics versus um, their acrobatics or athletics. <sighs> Wasn't that the exact same thing you rolled last time? Or am I yeah. getting this mixed up? I think that's the exact was same. And a twenty-six. <laughs> Can I try and crush it? Okay. So Gorham sort of jumped forwards into the hole. Mm -hmm. Can I grab him? Nope. No. What am I rolling? I mean, if you're, oh. if you're not resistant, yeah. I've been totally manhandled. <laughs> I'm gonna grab him and like pull him out. Can like I when I jump the wrong way, like I pounce like a cat midair, and Ovik just catches me midair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Would Would that athletics be against like that thing pulling him in then? Trying to pull him back? I play Scorn behind me, I'm trying to face it, wielding my hammer in front of me. Waiting to see if anything. I'm going to try and uppercut it with my hammer. <laughs> Lagging. There we go. Good in Lagan. <laughs> I don't need to do that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Attack on Titan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jaeger! <laughs> it thinks okay. about speaking, but thinks better of it. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagining it saying that now. <laughs> hmm. 
think I uh, say how CB has changed so much. It used to be so welcoming. <laughs> 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 Shades right there, not gonna lie. <laughs> That's oh, her. Lights, right? So, what did you want from around here? Does. I just turned around to Gorm and say, What did you want from around here? Does the, the beer in the cellar still smell? Is it. Is it... That, that was making the smell. I think I quite obviously sniff at the barrels and then I disappointedly say nothing, nothing. That's here okay. at least. I'll wait for you to move out of my way so we can squeeze out of this thing and go back into the tavern then. I guess I, I move up the stairs and go into the tavern. That's us. The barometer is getting low. <laughs> Recording to all sources. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been a bard, right? The class that I like least. Hair metal bard. <laughs> can I teach him the bagpipes, and then he can get the the bard subclass? <laughs> 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 I'd pass out if I tried to play by Cruz. That's how us. Yeah, the us team, team us. <laughs> yes, it's not later necessarily, it's j just darker, murkier. Oh, Mendes. Yeah, I think I turned to Emudin. Um, as I said, we're trying to find as secluded a place as possible. Like, is there like maybe a park or a cemetery or something in town that we could maybe just go and look at? No, I, I'm happy. To, I'm happy to walk that way because it is like also away from talk. So. I don't mind walking that way, because I'm having to walk and talk, as it were. Walk and talk. Yeah, and slip. I think I want to just, like, can... Is there any names that stand out on any of the graveyards as we like walk just randomly? And I think I'll just look, like look at them all in like, bit by bit. Mostly, are there any jars or Zoras here? I wish I had speak to stone or some shit like that. God, this would be so fucking good. What was carved in you, dear rock? <laughs> <laughs> to the mountain! It's just Ovex's ass. For <laughs> sake. <laughs> <laughs>
Rest <laughs> in peace. R.I.P. Peace. Okay, so XOR, yeah. Does it have it? Yeah, like, is there any... Um... He died because he was sore. <laughs> <laughs> Were there any, like, kind of engraves or details on any of the, the headstones or whatever about turtles and whatnot? Dragons and turtles and such? Okay. Sure. Uh, D10. I feel like Tak is a green turtle because his token's green, <laughs> and Zor is a dragon because he's black. And he's a black dragon. <laughs> I mean, valid, right? Yeah. Color coding. I think I'm talking while I'm doing this, though. Like, I definitely want to be having a conversation while I'm doing this, but it was just to see if I noticed this, because that will become part of the conversation if I notice it, that's all. So, like, super old or new? Or something in between, if it's not one of those. Well, is there someone who's deliberately tried to like wear it away? Or not? Because if it's newish looking, but then it's got like. Investigate, I guess. Is... Emu, what do you make of this? Can I roll with advantage now? <laughs> I mean, it's how else are you supposed to justify help, right? Like, I don't... benevolent, I think is the word you were looking for. I like the idea that Dig Doglius has just gone straight back to the tower and he's playing dragon chess this whole time. We've got more pieces to win, right? Yeah, more clean cut than actual. Yeah. Okay. And this is on the turtle dragon one. And where's the other one? The other one was just old. What wasn't it? You said the like. And that one's like in the middle ish. Yeah, but they're not like right next to each other. It's the gist of what I'm trying to get to. Yeah. <laughs> This is the dead center, this whole area. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I just wait and see if Emu says anything after kind of motioning to these two discoveries. Yeah, it's pretty big, quite frankly. Um, it just sort of says much more to this than. Uh, Either party has been willing to explain to us. I, I am unsure. I feel like there is uh, something important that we are missing. I agree. I think we need some more answers. I do not necessarily think we will get these answers from Mr. Jor. Jor Jar. <laughs> 
Zor. Yeah, Mr. Zor. He's Zor. I think I see all that in character. And then, then I look at Emu and then look back at the grave we're over. Does the ground, the ground isn't like obviously tilled over or anything, isn't it? Is it like. Is it like <laughs> just has a tilde over it. <laughs> I can't remember till then to it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, there's still time. Um... <laughs> As I said, I have no qualms with that. Hey. Uh... Hmm. One second. So yeah, I look at Emu and I say, I do not believe that we will get more information from Tizor. Do you feel from Tokshar? And this symbol is concerning. It showed up on our newfound companion of X Warhammer. Was on a brooch that mysteriously made its way to the lapel of Mr. Jar very suspiciously. And I could have sworn Leonin had pilfered that item personally. My trust is rather thin at the moment. I suspect Monsieur Jar may divulge as. Slight more information, but it may have to be unwillingly divulged. Perhaps, perhaps not. Would you like to see any more of the town before we return? I am in no great hurry. I have no great desire, uh, no great love for the urban centers myself, however. I think I just look around when you say urban centers, <laughs> like <laughs> judging Merchton. And then um, I think I think we might yeah. No, it's respectfully, obviously. Excellent. Star Wars not. Yep, da -dun. It launches a lightsaber at me. Um, I think, yeah, I think for that, I just nod to that and then I guess just stand up and then gesture to Emu to like leave the graveyard, I guess. Do you believe that this would be a suitable location if we had to, say, secrete the, um, the box somewhere more secure? Your accent is very misleading when you say secrete. I laugh. Um, I think it's best we not fall into distrust. And I just give you a look. And kind of like nod very slowly. Very well. Um, and then we, I guess, head back, I guess, to try and join the others. Less chappy.
Yeah, and I'm, I'm happy just to like kind of take a scenic, if you can, route back to the, the tavern since it's the only one in town um, in case they wanted to call it. Like the other group, I mean, and obviously we can we can appear when it's appropriately dictated by you. Unless Emu has anything to say to me. No, no, that's that's fine. Just keep it. Yeah. Does the uh, barman see us walking in? Star Wars man. He's gonna walk towards the bar. Seeing if he notices my intentions of buying another keg. Take it and pay for it. How much would that be? Roll a D100. <laughs> I think it's like 10 gold, by the way. I think I think it's like 10, 10 gold. gold. Oh, for, a, for a keg, yeah. Uh, I'll see if I can... I actually was asked this question by my group a couple of sessions ago. Um, was um, Gorm one of the people that got paid earlier? I sort of like look <laughs> at him. You don't and... know this. <laughs> Ah, oh. <laughs> pretty sure I'd know because you're the one performing. <laughs> Done. Okay, so how much is That's... a gallon? Right, a gallon of ale because it... is it British Imperial or American? <laughs> <laughs> it's Merchant Standard, I think. Um... <laughs> Can a, can a gallon of Merchiston just be a litre then? A gallon of ale is two, uh, two silver pieces, so I don't know how you scale that up. Um, Christ. Sure. Sure. Yeah. In GMs. <laughs> I suppose I... Uh... A fine bottle of wine, so a common pitcher of wine is two silver, and a fine bottle is ten gold. That's why, because my party bought ten bottles of fine wine the last time. <laughs> um... How many liters in a keg? <laughs> Fifteen. Twenty. Okay, um... so that's like five. Times two silver, so like ten silver. Yeah, I very so one gold. I very happily buy Orvik a keg and ask if he wants another. Hmm, maybe later. Yeah. I um go over and sit it's on so, the table. Silver, right? So it's three gold. Then. That would cost for a keg if that's three gold. If it's 15 gallons to a keg. Done. Oh, okay. My weight just well, went down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sit on the table next to talk. And as I sit down... Mm -hmm. No, a different table. Right. Uh, as I sit down... I'm going to sit down, and uh, as I sit down, I'm just going to say, um, um, if you don't want to tell me what's in the box, and I have nothing more to say to you. And then I start drinking. Um, I pull up after by myself a pint. Yeah. And I 
yeah, just sort of nod in slight agreement. Nothing too agreeable, but slight agreement. Are you sitting at my table, or...? Um, no, I, I sit on the same table as him, but not next to him. Okay. Across from him. <laughs> As a healing hey, brew. Good person would, yeah. <laughs> the brew numbs the pain. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I ask him to prove that our causes align, that he's not, essentially, as, without saying the word evil, that he's not, that he's not evil. <laughs> if Veil was an anagram <laughs> for some alignment of some kind, would you disagree with that, question mark? <laughs> <laughs> I give him, like, the Scientology um, questionnaire. <laughs> yes, it is. It's interesting. That's right. Cartwheeling in. Yeah. <laughs> Tea posing in. <laughs> yeah, sight to see. <laughs> um, I propped the door open again. And I'll sit at the, like, how are they, like, in, in line with the door so I could look out the door if I wanted? Or are they. Yeah, I'll sit next to Olvik then, um, and just maybe like pat him on the, the arm twice as a hello, without interrupting the conversation. Enjoy your walk. It was very relaxing, I like to think, and it sometimes requires the correct company. Good. I just smile at you. I try and smile back, but it looks like a, a bit of a grimace. Yeah, and I, I think, like, I, that's nice. Like, I, I definitely get the gesture. And then I think I say, um, did the blacksmith inform you how long it would take for your equipment? I think you said, like, three or four days. Okay, uh, see the town that's near us, the one that was implied by um, Tizor. Uh, is that four ish days away, or two ish days away, one ish day away, half a day away? Quicker by cart. So is that there and back? Okay, so I'm sure you told us that right? if we need it. It's just is it worth us waiting? Is what I'm thinking. You know, that's what I'm 
I'm also trying to work out Maybe we should figure out where this guy's employer is. Hmm. And if you want to give him the box. Thing is, we so out of character. I know we don't need to go to that other town, hmm. right? I know that. It's just, do we want to fake that to buy ourselves the time for you to get a shield? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair enough. We haven't paid for the shield yet. I. I'm working on that as best I can. Um... <laughs> I would like to get some money behind me. There's no loss, though, if, you know, we can't stay long enough. Could we... Yeah. Hmm. Well, sure. like, T so Tizor, right, is, I guess, expecting us to go back to him in a reasonable amount of time with Anne, since we did just walk away. Plus, um... he, it was... Three or four days, wasn't it, for the shield? Four-ish yeah. days, I think Calum said. And then that place is about four-ish days away. Um, Could we have a look at like any sort of like quest board in the town? See if there's anything to do with like shipments to the other town? Yeah. And then maybe pick one of those up on the way? Odd jobs. Are are we willing to entertain the possibility that there may be more than one box? Um, honestly, no. Until you just said that. Yeah. No. Yes. That he may have been referring to an an identical, but you know, another one of them. So actually. Yeah, I didn't think about that until now. I was going to say, like, if you did, <laughs> the thing I didn't bring up was, um, so I, I was going to suggest this to you, but I thought it was actually quite stupid as an idea because I didn't know how we'd go about it because we know so little about the box itself. But I was going to suggest we duplicated the effect it gives off. Hmm. That he seems to, assuming he senses it, right? So if something smelled of onions, rub something in onions and then put it elsewhere so they go to that, hmm. that would buy us time. But I don't know how to work out anything about the box to do that so I, that's why i never brought that up in terms of like trying to like make a fake out box um but yeah if you want to like have suggested that i don't know what tilda would have said back to that like you know could it be a different box i think i'd probably say something mystical like, all paths remain on <laughs> Just if that was said in the past, I think you should have said something like that, meaning I don't know where that goes, but that could be true. Also, it might not be. So yeah, maybe we, if we had that conversation. Did you have any like follow-up? I, I would just think that it might not be a terrible idea to go scope out where, where he thinks it is. See, you know, just in case there is another one there. Right, I, I get agree. a sticker out and put it on the box and just say this was box one. <laughs> Just in case. No, I don't we get know, there, it's just a big library of boxes. <laughs> oh, it's that. It's that uh, Indiana Jones Ark of the Covenant warehouse. Deal or no deal. <laughs> or that. Um. <laughs> the same thing. I think I just I stand up at the table and I just say, I think I'm going to get myself some tea. And then just like politely excuse myself from the table and let the conversation continue. I'll go grab tea and come back. He said that he didn't know how to show whatever that he was, you know, deserving of the box, basically. And then I asked him to prove that our goals at least aligned and that he wasn't evil. Because I'm not playing a good character, but I'm not evil either.
from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Sorry, sorry, go on. <laughs> I was, I was thinking that, and also Pocahontas, <laughs> savage, savage, really <laughs> human, and there's a gift for it. Apparently, I'm so happy. <laughs> They're not like you and me, which means they must be evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. He did look evil as shit, let's face it. He did. Oh, it's it's awesome. Yeah, I like it. As I said, I would have I would wear that, not gonna lie. Same. <laughs> I don't think it would fit me that well though. We we got tailors, buddy. We got tailors. Swiftly. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Your outfit, we trade you our services for your clothes. Yeah. I think I return with tea and I slide a cup of tea over to Emu. And so obviously I bought Emu tea. Do you want to stop tea posing? Um, yeah, I. <laughs> uh, picks I, it up, I, I drink still in the tea pose. <laughs> um, there's no great, um, like I'm, I'm grateful for it, but it's obviously I'm not like as big a tea fan as as uh, Tilt. Maybe I'm just, I just assume everybody likes tea, so I'm buying the tea. And there's a tea pose just holding a cup with your little pinky out. Ah, oh, it's not a tea pose; it's a tea poser. That's what it is. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> I think I just said, maybe I, that's when I sit back when they say it's just clearly evil. I think, who is evil, darling? And then just look at them poignantly. Or <laughs> pointedly, both is good. I just sip my tea, staring at them. And you. And you have and you have evidence of this. You can convince us of this. <laughs> Tilda has a moment she flashes back to the spear through this poor guy's chest and I think, hmm, maybe he's onto something. And click back into the moment. <laughs> On the ball. Mm -hmm. Jovial, yeah. To be fair, so is the cat. <laughs> By Ovik. <laughs> That's at the back, though. Mm. The Hill Hydra thing. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it a Horcrux? 
I guess like, <laughs> like... <laughs> Did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> Zorcrux. A <laughs> <laughs> oh. hundred plate damage. <laughs> what? So his very name is evil, is what he said. Like, but none of us know the name. Except I think I've maybe seen him on a billboard. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh -huh. the headline act for the same show as us. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> We're obviously too. Wait, wasn't he in the Fratellis? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, arcana or something? What can something be the highest thing I've Okay, uh, what is your arcana skill, uh, Gorm? Three. I just Sorry. rolled. I was going to say, do you want to roll again as if you had done that with advantage? What a bit shitter, though. It doesn't matter, you get the best one. Okay. So I'll just help you. You're of no help. No, I really wasn't. It's all you, buddy. <laughs> Debating the box problem more than anything else <laughs> in my head. So, yeah. Sidetracked. With my eyes. Maybe my ears. Following this side. Probably loudly, well, not not super loud, but just loud enough for us at the table to hear. Probably just say, "How did you make that smell with your fingers when you moved them?" I definitely don't comment. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, not knowing it's magic, just. I sip my tea slowly. <laughs> I don't know how many different no, ways no, no, you can smell that. <laughs> hmm. I'm not on my Luxador. He's got consensus. He just steals the book with his trunk. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm obviously I don't really notice this about because of the Arcana roll, so yeah. Probably just pondering. What's um all of like an uh, emus in here? Highly unnatural.
So I noticed this guy doing weird gestures behind his back. Could so if he's staring like Gorm after smelling his other hand, he does that. See the way he's got his hand contorted? Could I sit my little kind of I don't know pottery cup of tea? Like, it's not like the way he's contorted his hand behind his back. Can I just like sit my cup of tea in his hand? The way it's contorted. Like, just slot it in. I go on to do that and then just like lean into him and say, What are you doing? What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> I'd play with my hair, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> You can pretend to play with it. Could I try and catch it with my tail? Like an acrobatics. Can I use my inspiration? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, darn. I think I just stand there. Like, like, yeah, I'm just going to stand and stare at him. I'm definitely licking tea off my fur. <laughs> and why should we trust you? Then why do not you, why do you not tell us more about him and yourself? And that way we will have more to to see things from your side, perhaps. 
the audience now understands why Tilda's really fond of Emu. Hmm. Can I close the book while he's trying to read it? Like just like as he's opened it, I just go enough of the weird brain speaking. Like can I can I can I close it over or is it just Yeah. And like I don't, I don't do it like any like in uh, I just do it very slowly as if that's not do weird magic book shit. Um so if I do that and like if he looks up at me, I I'll then say could you perhaps just tell us with words? Cocky. Cocky. <laughs> I wanted a challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Your world, you mean. So is he implying that he's from a different world than me, or he's from the same world? Because earlier I got the impression he was saying he was from a different world, whereas for this one, like, it sounds like he's talking like we're from two different, uh, sorry, from the same. Yeah, I think if, if that's the impression I get, I think I'd, I'll clarify that with them and I'll just straight away go, you say our world, I'm obviously implying between me and him, and I say, are you from this world that we inhabit? Am I even still on my own world? Are you talking about different planes of existence? Please be specific. Your trust is on... Your trust is on the line.
I just nod politely at the uh, the kind of innkeep dude. And I look back at everybody at the tables. What's the impression I get to see when like till I look back at everybody that sat? Like what does she gauge? Like let's go read the book in front of us or let's run upstairs with the dude. Dead. <laughs> it just does. It's been a pretty uh, intense day, I think. Coming from a different world, getting chased by some darkness and a shadow. And whatever the fuck happened with this dude fighting goblins and shit, I think I'm probably pretty tired, getting a bit tipsy from the drink, just wanting to go to bed, to be honest. Just like slightly frowning as um, uh, Tom walks up the stairs away and following him with my eyes, and just like being fairly suspicious of the book and the nature, the nature of the subject. Not he. That is a man in need of a long rest. <laughs> I am you. <laughs> yes, do the voice. Yeah, Mademoiselle. It's uncanny, by the way. Uncanny. <laughs> um, I think I'm still licking tea off myself but um as obic mentioned it's been a very long day and i think the caffeine is not hitting hard enough i'm beginning to lose focus and i suppose i just let out a very obvious long yawn so that sounds really french doesn't it a long yawn long yawn <laughs> Sorry, it just does. Yeah, and obviously I'll look over at Dig Dog, and he's a uh, he's obviously trying to like absolutely hammer uh, the dragon chess game against possibly the young serving girl. Um, and I guess I just look at everything. Else. Perhaps it's best we follow him. I kind of like phrase that as definitely like a question for the group. Or we see with the first <laughs> deep sigh. <laughs> Can we all just sigh at the same time? <sighs> and then they uh, see. Well, I kind of sigh. <laughs> and I kind of a gesture down at the book on the table. Or if anyone wishes to be bold. I guess I Definitely picked up the here. book. <laughs> Pick up the book. Um, pick it up and show it to everyone, because no one else picked it up. And I suppose I just start investigating. I can't read. <laughs> A tome. <laughs> a tome feels a tome. You should atone for you, that joke. I was literally about to say those exact <laughs> words. How dare you? <laughs> Snooze you, Lise. Ten friendship points. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I, uh, I, I go over to the lady playing Dig Dog and I hand it to the blonde. The, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just open up the first page and uh, inspect with obvious look around the group for ideas. I think I maybe look a bit like unsure. Maybe it's like the first time you've ever seen her look a bit like I wouldn't say shaken, shaken's too much. Stirred, maybe, you know. I know that sounds like a Bond reference, but I literally mean stirred, like. She's a bit uneasy. I think I just sort of assume that the book is magical and that I am no help in this area. We need the wizard. That's what we need. I suppose in the page that he left it on probably be the most appropriate page for us to look at. <laughs> Welcome back. I thought we'd lost you there. That's a powerful book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Picks up the DM. <laughs> Leah Heath, blank book. Show and tell. And I told. We behold. It spoke. Plus, if it shows us blank pages with the pages that we know were written on, that's implied as well, right? So, because we saw him writing it, so. I am just really suspicious of the dude because he was shifty as hell with his hands, then instead of explaining stuff, he wanted to mind word things into our brains. And that's never good. So, yeah. And I'm not big on this person. As fuck, I'd have probably beaten him up across the bar to try and get some... Yeah, and then like, like, like... The thing going through my head as Tilda is he didn't have that brooch when we met him. He acquired that as soon as I mentioned it. So, yeah, because that brooch was on the body, then Leannon took it, and then he just had it and she didn't have it anymore, which is why I do not trust him. So he's actively deceived us versus Tizor, who tortured was trying to play. I mean, not so much tortured, just stabbed significantly, then kind of healed. Um, Painfully. Plus, we do know that, um, what's his face, uh, Talkshar killed goblins, right? In so far as we can infer that from the room of dead goblins and him. So, yeah, I feel like I don't, like, Tilda generally doesn't know what to do because at first it was just a get box, get money, go home. Now it's get box, maybe destroy worlds. So there's no going home part. So that's kind of all the stuff that's went through our head during today's wonderful discoveries. Um, I think I'm just waiting to see what everybody else's vibes are. So she's just still, still kind of standing with her hands behind her back as she's like kind of in thought.
Mm -hmm. I was gonna say maybe just the camera zooms up onto like Tilda's face as she's like in deep thought and her eyes are just doing that darting from kind of left to right as if she's thinking really hard. <laughs> I cast fireball on myself. Don't say that. It's giving me flashbacks. <laughs> and uh, I guess I think it's a decent place to end. Yeah. Yeah. Yimu is definitely thinking. This is always it's what always happens when you go into towns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I was a hermit. <laughs> Have that split screen effect where they're both like facing each other without realizing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this symmetry. We're facing opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Does doesn't the statue look like Ovic? Just... <laughs> <laughs> it's made out of the mountain that's my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Chip off the old block. <laughs> There's a giant mountain shaped <laughs> like a bum. It's just a big ass. <laughs> Show me what you back got. Oh, so this, so Talkshar's a left cheeker, right? And we're a right cheeker. I caught you, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm very confused. Indeed. I feel like we need to look at the quest board again. Like, we definitely need to look at the quest board again. Guys. Yeah, we I think quest. that we should do this going to the other town, but I think it'd be good to pick up another quest in between to get a bit of cash in our pockets, because this one sounds like it could be a bit more difficult to figure out and could take a bit longer for us to get some cash in hand. As I said, like even all the options that have came up in terms of like what to do, I don't like Tilda doesn't have enough information of what the fuck to actually do because currently it's hand and nuclear codes to Trump or Putin, right? Yeah. So shrug. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. And I don't like that idea because Which one's which? I feel like Trump is T and uh Putin is talk. So, you know, I would have said the other way around. Yeah? Yeah. Because um, Trump is pretty blatantly yeah, I agree. <laughs> a dick, whereas Putin's a bit more subtle about it. Right. I mean, visually. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I get what you mean, yeah, because one's kind of upfront about their yeah. place, another one's a bit deceptive. Yeah. Putin and Xi Jinping. <laughs> um, I mean, he finds something called Rasputin. Right, and then rah, rah, rah. <laughs> that's his first name, Rara. <laughs> um, you sing the magic words, <laughs> so and like, the box opens. Plan, is our plan to go to this next town just to even just scope out like Emu's plan of maybe there is a second box? Um, yeah. so if we do that, that yeah. buys us time to get the shield, um, and maybe make money along the way. Maybe um, we definitely don't know that this is the box they are even looking for. I think we should look for some sort of like. Um, maybe like escorting or shipping quest, moving things yeah, like between the two towns. Caravans between the towns. Yeah. Yeah. We have to protect some students out on the dig. <laughs> <laughs> Something really bad happened to them. Now we have to protect some earth elementals out on the dig from some students. <laughs> <laughs> They're on a pub crawl, you see. Uh, stone? No. Anyway. Um... <laughs> oh dear. I... Yeah, I got it. 
I don't know. That was. I feel like if I had more than seven health, I would have launched a fan at a <laughs> T Zor as soon as I seen him stab or having had Oh, yeah. I always have to just like blast through the door and charge at him. But, but like, I also I feel like the, the yeah. fact that you can't take on Thingy Me Bob and then he just gets bodied by the Zora yeah. dude. I was also half tempted to try and take on Tox since he was weakened in the bar. <laughs> just, it's like Tilda isn't like she's not a pacifist, but she's also not. I will not fire first without there being a threat, right? Like I, I hope I never end up at the top of the initial order because I'll just be like I guess I wait till some threatening happens because um, <laughs> I don't feel like I want to be like I get like barbarians rage at problems, right? So it makes sense that like um, Dig Dog will scream and then run at something at some point. That does make perfect sense for him. For me, no. So it's it's difficult to try and play somebody that would try and. It's kind of annoying because I fuck all decks, so I'm like never going to be a good at initiative unless I just roll well. Like for example, one of my personality traits is right right now is I'm willing to listen to every side of an argument before I make my own. So I feel like I was core that this session. Uh, the other one, my personality trait is I'm convinced people are always trying to steal my secrets, which I don't like, but I'm keeping it because it's so odd to the rest of the character. Um. So I think that ties in with the trying to listen to all sides to work out who's actually trying to steal my secrets. Um, not that I actually have any yet. I don't know. So many secrets. Secret even from her. Um, secrets from secrets. Yeah. Secret? Um, secret, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, uh, yeah. I like the accent though. I like when people do voices. Um, it's cool. I'm really. I've been trying, voices. but the accent, like I've got the tone, but not the accent. Because <laughs> I keep. I don't know. Doing... Like I can always tell when you're being of it though, which I like. Good. Yeah. I haven't got enough wordy Good. words in my head to hmm. do an accent. I could do an accent, but I'd have to know what I was going to say before. Yeah. <laughs> when you talk, it's either. Alex talking normally, or you talking as your character, as opposed to the French Alex. So that's <laughs> how I can tell you apart. <laughs> I feel like a lot of um, a lot of Ovex sort of interactions with people will just be sort of like the grunts from The Witcher, where it's just like, mm. like a lot of that sort of shit. Mm. Like also, thank you to everybody that got my Witcher my Witcher reference. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of references this session. A lot of references. It was good. It was fun. Star Wars nods. Star Wars yeah. nods. Yep. If you don't get the Witcher reference, go fucking watch The Witcher because it's. <laughs> well, now that you said it, I get it. Good. But at the time, I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Shame. The person that wanted to get it. Does them to have like a specific direction they want to go in, like for this? Because I am like as a again as a player, I'm like. Kind of, I have no idea beyond what I've said about let's go do something else to think about it. All I know is I want a defining moment by the time I get level three. <laughs> okay, is, this to, <laughs> just, is that to justify your class choices? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speak to Callum. They level up. <laughs> Are we level two yet? Yeah. Fair. I mean. You're the GM, you can put us as level 2 if you want. Roleplay is valid. We have had quite a few interactions. I fought off a shadow twice. And also, you fought off the, the, what, the, bar, the, so the beer guy and the cat. I fought off the door. Is that gonna like scale up so when we're level nineteen it'll give you twenty reasons? Uh thirteen reasons why. <laughs> no please. <laughs> what if the What if the book has magical properties that have imbued us with a certain amount of power? 
<laughs> I mean, if, hey, wait, no, that works, guys. We could, for level two, he said, done. <laughs> okay, we're sort of connected, um, but I fought off a shadow slash intimidated a shadow, uh, but also li lived up to the name of Stonebreaker and absolutely crushed the ground. Mm -hmm. Crushed it. Um. I, I would say first one, just you know, trying to keep a consistent accent. You know, that's got to be worth it. <laughs> yes. Um, Level two French. <laughs> <laughs> Intermediate French. Um, Level up. You learned five new words. I would say, um, I don't know sort of more trying to be a bit more assertive, like like standing up to both um, talk and tea. Yeah, actually, like, confront them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of trying. Yeah. Got him. I think the commitment to being clueless is quite strong with this one. Yeah, there's actually been some interesting ones with like the whole bullet. <laughs> <laughs> the commitment to puns, the number of puns made in character. It's all labeled if it's puns, yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I don't have any goals with a character that I. I just want to be like. <laughs> That's bizarre. Yeah. Um, so la -di -da. <laughs> but we're just we're just gonna point that out right there. That's pretty damn weird. Um, yeah, I think <laughs> must be yeah, you're the sunstroke. Um, good for Zig. Not Does so he says that really weird as well? Does he yeah, sunstroke? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's melted. I um, I I think again, I literally played up to my personality traits spot on. I think so. Cocky. There you go. I also think I was able to socially fence with both talk and tea. I had the point where we didn't end up in a massacre, you know? That was also useful. I you were convincing like. enough to not make me just run in and kill someone. Yeah, like I, any conversation with tea who was like, oh, I'm busy. Please, you can just go about your business and leave us alone. And managed to get him to even acknowledge that we were there, listen to us, and technically air quote, hire us, because he did say, you know, can make you incredibly wealthy or whatever. And uh, that was interesting. And then even to the point where I asked him to heal talk, to be like, maybe we should be a bit more civilized in here so we can all discuss this further. Um, also, one of my ideals is about knowledge and power. So I'm definitely trying to work out who I want to piss off the least and ally with the most. So there's that. I made mistakes based on my character bonds in the past as well, um, which Calum, if you went to my character sheet and read, don't want to say out loud. Um, so that was a thing that happened in the past that I don't want to repeat. Um, and then my flaws also make me really eager to pursue the knowledge power ideal for the person that I think is going to help me the most. There's four reasons. Yay! We all love you, Callum. <laughs>